Hi everyone, it's Adam here for my EP and in these videos I want to talk about pronunciation. Pronunciation is the little brother of language skills. Everyone always forgets about them. But it's actually really important to being understood. If you think you are saying everything just right or close enough, you don't always know what the listener is hearing. So you have to make sure that you are moving your mouth in the right way. The good news is, once you learn how to move your mouth in the right way, it's not something you forget. It's like riding a bike or playing any other sport. If you move your body and you move your muscles in a way that you have learned, then you don't forget how to move that way. It's called muscle memory and your tongue is a muscle. So once you learn how to move it the right way, you don't forget very easily. Although you might forget to do it when you're focusing on other things like vocabulary and grammar. But that's another problem. So, for example, if you are Thai and I say to you, Pom chot bla muk 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 Then you might not understand exactly what I'm trying to say to you. But if I say to you, Pom chot bla muk 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 then you'll probably have a much easier time. So pronunciation, even changing just a little bit, can really make the difference in understanding. And there are three ways that pronunciation usually goes wrong. That's with vowels, with consonants, and with word stress, where you put the emphasis on a word. And all women know a penis is hard to find. Excuse me? A penis. Or happiness. So, yes, as you can see there, word stress, sometimes a really big problem. But in this series of short videos, I hope to go through those problems and the ones caused by vowels and consonants and show you how, with some practice, you can avoid all these pronunciation issues so that your pronunciation can sound more professional. Bye for now.